That's fair. Ni pa ma kuma kuna nine hundred and eight. We ombe kwada bayi. Masi wudi immediate effect. Three weeks ni wamo dati to old position no. Ye. And our transfers, you know, they say it's on hold. Me will list me now how. Maybe I need to know. Maybe I need to know. Maybe I need to The list is on this machine. 908. One time quick. Bam. Yes, we're going to transfer. One more quarter, baby. Yeah, quarter, bam. Crude, no more bad. Me, I said no. Captain. Um, two issues. I said no. A bear providing further and better particulars and our evidence for two issues. Either said the voter in Ghana is ignorant, and now said the voter in Ghana is a hypocrite. These are two things. I've seen what happened in Kumewu, because Captain Nami was okay. on the ground in Kumewu from 26th April hmm. till after the elections. What I saw in Kumewu was that, Captain, Omar Omoti Kumewu, no, they've seen all the things that happened in Kumewu. Say, hmm. so, streets, Muni streets, Muni roads. All the social amenities that normal human beings would have to have are not present in Kumewu. Now, so because of the few CD notes, ah, Ebi Munko to two and some of the vote buying things we saw on TV, because of that, you know, they voted in a certain way. I'm saying what's going to happen as in North, you know, it will prove two things. Either the Ghanaian voter is ignorant or he's a hypocrite. Now, Captain, you call parliamentary elections. No problem. It's a by election for parliamentary seat. 2020 elections. Before 2020 elections, anytime you ever vote, you know, we have a majority or a minority in parliament. And see, you find out, sir, anytime it should be back up parliament and people have to take a vote, they'll blame it on the majority. Say, oh, a majority for no, I'm voting. So we have a certain saying, I'm say, a minority will have its say, but majority will have its way. That's what we've been seeing for a very long time in our democracy. But in 2020, there was a new president. So we had a hung parliament. In that situation, minority has a say and majority has its way. There be Now it was equal numbers in parliament. What have they been able to do, the so-called minority, what have they been able to do with their numbers in parliament? That number or the numerical advantage, what have they done with it? Anytime any serious issue be called parliament and it has to be voted on, it's two things that happen. Either there'll be a boycott, and see, they'll walk out of the parliament house and then they leave it for the majority to have their way. Captain, that's what we've seen so far. And a bit of my mind, sir, voters seem not to see these things happening. Or my father said, it is the norm, it's normal practice. But if, let me, let me mention names here, Captain, if NDC was going to be a credible alternative, and I said there were a minority that was fighting for the people, Anytime any issues came to parliament that had to be decided on the floor through a vote, with their numerical advantage, you know, they could vote no, not to boycott. But instead of voting against whatever bill has been proposed on the floor of the parliament, they would just, they would just walk out. out. Uh -huh. Now, Martin Luther King, and I'll paraphrase, or say, say, OB, CC, OB, now say, uh -huh. now one country, you know, you've taken the side of the OCC, you know. That's right. And see, in the face of injustice, if you remain indifferent, you are chosen the side of the oppressor. And see, at the ABA parliament, you guys have equal numbers in parliament to kick against anything that has been brought to the, the floor of parliament. They do not use their numerical advantage for anything. The worst case scenario, they say they'll walk out, boycott mm -hmm. the vote, and leave the majority to do what they want to do. This is what the NDC has done with their numerical advantage as a hung parliament in the first time in the political history of Ghana. And see that. And see, like I said previously, you almost say, oh, a minority has a say, majority has its way. But since 2020, Captain, we've had a hung parliament. What has the equal number been able to do to the benefit of the Ghanaian people in parliament? Nothing. 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 And see, it's, hypocrit it's hypocritical or it's hypocrisy in the highest order for particularly the NDC to walk around parading themselves as the alternative to the MPP government. But Captain McCann said several times, sir, since the beginning of the so-called Fourth Republic, yeah, they're friend of the False Republic. There has never been a time, sir, any of these two political parties have gone into opposition. Never. My hearing, if he said, government is in three arms. And so you have the executive, you have the legislature, and the judiciary. This is government. Mm. The only thing that changes at any point in time is the executive arm of government. And so you have president, but the composition of parliament has always been such that 
NPP and NDC have always been in parliament. So how do they go into opposition? Mm -hmm. Captain, I'm a, I'm a boy at Chaskele, it's musical chairs. So when we be here, and then they turn it around and say, oh, these guys are bad, these guys are bad. But Captain, on my final point, if I leave this, look at this. 2017, after the elections, 2016 elections, uh, MPP won their presidential elections. Omuyi, finance minister, Ken Oforiata, as the candidate for the finance ministry. People were aware, parliamentarians in parliament were aware, because you cannot tell me, say, Omu and here, Omu due diligence, and Omu background checks on the candidate. So they were very much aware, said, this finance minister, or this candidate for the finance ministry, has shares in data bank, and the other things that were involved in that problem. But now, so as they brought him to parliament, they all gave him a unanimous confirmation, approval, say, on BD finance minister, no problem. From 2017 to 2020, Captain, you and I were in this country. We had all the scandals in, in, um, pertaining to the finance ministry. But after 2020 elections, no, the son Nipakwana called back to parliament as an appointee for a renewal of his mandate as finance minister. Where were the NDC MPs at that time? They, they also, again, approved But when you now say yes, unanimous approval, we should make him the finance, finance minister, minister to continue. So how is it that the same individuals are going around the country and parading themselves as if Omudi Omi or Sora Bofo, that they've not even seen any of these things and they're not part of the rot? Then again, it comes back to my initial statement, sir. This elections in Asin North will prove two things. Either the Ghanaian voter is ignorant or they are hypocritical. All right. Thank you.